There was once a poor young man. He had no family, no land, no food. He went in sorrow to the temple of the goddess of mercy, the Japanese goddess, Kanon. She appeared to him. When you leave my temple, you will stumble and fall. You will catch something in your hand. Take this and walk to the west. Remember my mercy. He hurried from the temple. He stumbled and fell and caught hold of a simple straw outside the temple. What use is this? But he remembered Canon's words and walked to the west. The day was hot. A fly buzzed around his head. He caught it with his hand and tied it by a thread to the end of the straw, so the fly buzzed around in circles and entertained him. On he walked through the heat, but then he heard a child crying, a young child, and the mother carrying the child could not calm the child. When he came closer, the child stopped crying and reached for the buzzing fly. So remembering Canon's mercy, he passed the child the straw, and the child watched the fly buzz round and round, and gurgled and giggled, and the mother was pleased. Thank you for your mercy. I will give you these three oranges. The young man walked on and thought, now instead of a straw, I have three oranges. He walked through the heat, and finally, by the road, he came to a young woman. She was weeping. I am so thirsty. I have nothing to drink. Give me water. He remembered Canon's mercy. I have no water, but take these three oranges. She drank the juice. You are kind, she said. I will give you this. And he took from her a piece of Japanese silk. Now instead of three oranges, I have a piece of silk. He walked on along the road towards the west. Then he came to a soldier. The soldier was angry and shouting at his horse. The horse was lying beside the road. My horse is sick. I cannot go to buy my wife a beautiful gift. What will I bring her? Oh, my horse is sick. I cannot ride it. And the young man remembered Canon's mercy. Here, take this piece of silk. The soldier was amazed. The silk was beautiful. I have nothing to give you except this sick horse. The soldier went away happy. The young man knelt beside the horse. He rubbed the horse. He brought water and grass for the horse. And finally the horse was well enough to stand. It was a fine horse. He continued to look after the horse until finally he could ride on its back. And the horse carried him towards the west, riding faster and faster. Now instead of a piece of silk, I have a fine horse. On he rode along the way and finally came to a great house, a magnificent house with a fine garden full of flowers, herbs. There was an old man standing at the golden gate. He had a long white beard. Young man, stop. That is a fine horse you're riding. I would give anything for a horse like that. Then have the horse, said the young man, remembering Canon's mercy. You're giving me your horse. <laughs> then come in. The old man brought the young man into his fine house. The old man clapped his hands and called for his daughter to bring tea. But when she entered the room, she stopped. Father, this is the young man who saved my life with three oranges. You saved my daughter's life. My daughter is more precious to me than anything in the world. Come. Stay with me, you will help me manage my land. Well, the young man agreed to stay with that rich landowner and his beautiful daughter, and you can imagine that within a short time, those two were married. They managed the land well. The old man finally died, and the young man and his beautiful wife managed the land. They were always merciful, shared what they had. And with that mercy came great bounty. He became known throughout Japan as the straw millionaire, Warashibe Choja. I'm David Heathfield, and I'm telling you this story from my back garden. It's Friday the 19th of June, 2020. 
I learned that story from Kenta Ogawa, a Japanese young man. And other Japanese people have told me that same beautiful story. And I'm sharing it with you. A breath of fresh air today.